Perl tutorial part three variables now um, creating and using variables is the basis of most of the if not all the programs we're going to be doing in this series so to create a variable in Perl we use the dollar sign I can create a variable called X that has the value 1 now that's a scalar variable it's um, a variable that holds one data item there's two types of um, variables in Perl. There's also list variables which hold more than one data item. So this is a list variable. We have the values x and y and they are equal to the values 1 and 2 respectively. So x is the value 1 and y is the value 2. So that's our list variable in Perl. The most common types of variables used in Perl scripting is the scalar variable where a variable is just worth a single value. Okay so we can variables can be either a number or can be words so we call that a string actually. So these are two scalar variables number equals one, string equals Perl tutorial. Now to print those out we simply type in print number We'll put a new line character in there so it's easier to read. And then we'll print our string. New line character. That needs a, um, a forward slash in front of the N. That's to escape the N to let the program know that this is the N is not part of this variable. Okay, so we'll run that in command prompt mode. There's our number one, and there's our string, Perl tutorial. Variables in Perl can be declared at any time. We can input them from a form on a web page, we can input them from a query string on a script, and there's other ways as well. So variables, if they're numbers, they can be added, subtracted, multiplied and divided. For example, x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals x plus y. And if we print out our z result, new line character, We should get the number three. All right, the number three. Now, variables, if they're, they're words or letters, we can join them, chop them, scramble them, slice them, dice them, lowercase, uppercase, sort them, you name it. For example, Word one equals Perl Word two equals tutorial Now we can um, make our string equal to word one word two and we can print that out print string new line character 
and we will get Pearl Tutorial Pearl Tutorial <laughs> 